Okay, so this is a series in, of webinars in which uh, Informed Decisions is, uh, is presenting how to solve typical problems in organizations. And today, we're going to look at the mailroom problem. And just about every business and organization has a mailroom. They receive inbound mail, whether it be correspondence, invoices, and it can cause quite a bit of inefficiency. So we'll be, uh, we'll be going over that today, and um, we'll do a few slides and then show you a quick overview of how we can use technology to solve that problem. So a little background, who has informed decisions? Been around since 1994, and we focus on document automation solutions both for the IBM iSeries and open platform, Windows, Linux. And our whole goal is to provide software that can allow you to uh, add efficiency and productivity to your organization. You can go to our website. There's a ton of information at www.informeddecisions.com and take a peek, and I'll reference uh, some places and some things you can look for as we go through the, uh, the presentation. So why the focus on the mailroom? A huge piece of corporate inefficiency deals with uh, paper process and the handling of paper throughout day-to-day -day operations. And really, if you look at uh, most businesses, the mailroom is the epicenter of paper. All paper flows into the organization typically from, from, uh, from the mailroom, and it's where the majority of the, the paper actually enters. Um, some folks print as well, but, uh, but uh, the mailroom is, is generally the the place that it uh, flows into the organization. That has a huge impact on cost. You can look at some of these stats that we have here with large companies spend, spending a really large portion of their operating costs on mail, and even smaller organizations can receive a huge amount of paper into their mailroom, okay? Now, unfortunately, these costs don't stop at the mailroom in the actual opening and routing of mail. For every piece of paper that you bring into your organization, you multiply the inefficiency as it flows through from department to department. So um, wherever that paper lands, whether it's on a desk or in a file cabinet, it continues to add inefficiency and it has that multiplier effect. So if we continue to talk about the problem, um, many time critical documents enter, enter through the mail room and delays can be costly. Some examples of this could be invoices where uh, if you delay the processing of an invoice, you could miss early pay dis discounts. At a law firm, maybe you've got a, a piece of time-sensitive information that comes from the court, and you've got to reply to it in a specific amount of time. There's even some industries that are under uh, regulatory and compliance, um, have regulatory and compliance issues where they need to answer within a set amount of time period once they mark that correspondence as received. So there's all different types of issues. The list goes on and on, um, uh, government and tax forms, and the, really the most painful of all, and what we see in a lot of organization, uh, organizations that have the same issue are invoices. So the whole invoice problem is a little out of the scope of this presentation. We've got a ton of information and demos on our website um, about invoices and the costs associated with processing paper-based invoices. So let's move on. So if we take a deeper look at the inefficiencies uh, within the mailroom, for, for most companies, mail is manually open, it's sorted, it's routed by hand to the appropriate individual or department. Uh, most of these processes um, stay a, as a manual process because hardware to automatically open mail and sort it can be quite expensive and is typically out of reach for small to medium-sized businesses. So the pain just starts after the mail is open and sorted. And I mentioned routing, but moving that paper throughout the organization um, can be quite painful and time consuming as well. So in some cases in specific industries, there's even the requirement to have high cost knowledge workers sort through and review the mail. So in the insurance industry, looking at claims, workers' comp information as it comes in. It takes folks with the knowledge of process and, and, and those types of documents to, uh, to further route them to the appropriate individual. So it can be a huge impact. One big example is uh, high-tech organizations or organizations that deal with workers on visa where different government forms are coming in and some need to be routed to legal, some to human resources, 
Others have uh, time-sensitive information on them that needs to be processed uh, immediately. So those types of organizations really can have um, a high cost associated with sorting and, and reviewing that inbound mail. So the results, a lot of companies feel like they're drowning. Um, deadlines are being missed, documents are lost, routed to the wrong destination where they can sit for days or even weeks. And the paper just keeps piling up on desks, causing further backups and delays. Okay, so, so we've got a number of issues from this uh, paper mail process. And in summary, really inefficient, high costs associated with it, and, and really the lack of standardization on how organizations process that mail can, uh, can cause numerous business issues. So what's the solution? How do we fix it? I like to equate the mailroom to a, a drawbridge on a castle, right? You've got a moat around the castle. As paper comes in, everything needs to get digitized at entry. Okay, stop that inefficiency at the point of entry to the organization. Nothing can cross unless it goes over that drawbridge, okay? Which typically can be a scanner um, with associated capture. So using that advanced capture software, you can scan, analyze the documents, classify them, and then route them to the right individual or department depending on their content. This automates the core task and can even provide some, uh, uh, a lot of the applications out there, you can actually provide business logic, okay, and auto route based on content or information in the system. So with workflow and a document management system, you can route those documents internally, set up queues for reviews and approval, without the fear of losing your documents or misplacing them. Okay, so there's a lot of different pieces that can go into this solution. You can start small and grow, um, and, and we have lots of options at, at informed decisions. So now that I've uh, shown you some slide overviews, let's go ahead and see it in action and, and see uh, a particular instance where you could use document capture and scanning to, to process those inbound pieces of documentation. So this is one of the products that we offer, and I'm just going to show you a slice of the overall mail solution that we can offer. Um, Ty Capture is an advanced capture application that can uh, integrate with scanners or copiers where you can process inbound documents, scan them, analyze them, and then route them based on information, okay? It's a very easy to use application. On the left-hand side, you've got all your different workflow steps that you can provide. We'll go ahead and kick off a capture process, and I've, I've got a template for mailroom processing. There's a couple neat things that you can do with this product. Um, if you've got a, a copier in your mailroom, which most, most organizations do, you can actually scan the mail to a directory and then pick up and process those documents. You can also link it to a direct connect scanner. So in this example, let's go ahead and, uh, and highlight uh, some, some letters that we've scanned and we'll kick off a process. One of the really nice things about the product is that everything that's processed gets put into a, what we call a, a batch, which is really a suitcase for documents and data. That batch gets tracked through the organization. You can run reports on it. Um, you can use the, uh, the output, the statistics for uh, business intelligence and analyzing different processes in your organization. So it's a really nice, uh, nice feature. So let's go ahead and ingest uh, these pieces of correspondence. And in this example, we're going to use a real basic process. So um, we're processing correspondence to the organization that would be complaint letters and maybe letters for support or requests, all right? So those complaint letters, let's say that the organization has a policy in place where they need to get answered within 24 hours be quite challenging if folks were going through and sorting and reading the letters looking for complaint text. So in this example, what we're going to do, we're actually going to look at the text of the letter through an OCR process and look for common complaint words, complaint, unhappy, um, disappointed, all right? So we'll actually use the technology to do some of the heavy lifting for us. So as these letters go through the process, we take the scanned image, convert it to text, and search the text for key terms, okay, as I mentioned. So in this example, just a real simple example, we've scanned these different letters, 
you can see that we've auto-identified the complaint letters, and then we've designated ones that don't have complaint terms as others. So now I can route the complaints to a specific department for processing so they can get back to customers immediately. And the other ones can be sent to a queue or location where folks can, uh, can review them as, as time permits, all right? Now, this is the QA interface within the product where I can check the work of the technology really quickly and I can redesignate letters if I want to read them. And uh, once I click done, these can get released to a variety of locations. So if I wanted to take um, all of these letters and put them into a workflow, I could do that and inter uh, interface with both our workflow product and other workflow products. If I've got a doc management system, I can actually plop these into uh, an archive or an electronic file cabinet for review. Uh, I've got the ability to route the data to databases. Those, so there's lots of different options that I have here. I've done just a single process on these documents through the classification step, but I could also attempt to extract other information like addresses, maybe the sender's name and things like that, and auto extract that as well, all right? So once again, just a quick bite, quick look at the technology that we have to help you automate. And once again, this is one slice of what we have. But uh, just to get your gears turning, if you have any questions, you can go to informeddecisions.com. If you want a uh, more in-depth demonstration, you can go ahead and hit the contact us and, and talk to us further about these solutions. Thanks. Have a great day.